hello it's your girl cg on train and i'm back today with a new video if you're new to my channel in good old texas fashion hey y'all and if you've been here before welcome back and next time bring a friend so guys today's video as you saw the title it is going to be pinterest inspired thanksgiving day outfits okay so some of these outfits i mean depending on where you're going may be a little too dressy for thanksgiving but if you're anything like the people in my family we dress up for thanksgiving so that means put on a cute lip put on some makeup put on a nice outfit put some heels on if you want to just to go and sit on the sofa yes that's what we do we put our slippers in our purse but we show up like we're going to an event if you are from a family like mine and y'all get dressed up on thanksgiving then this is totally going to be the video for you now i know a lot of times we do not know what we have in our closet and we're like oh my god i have nothing to wear i have nothing to wear i'm guilty of saying oh i don't have anything to wear what am i gonna wear if we just shop our closet and wear the things that we have we don't have to go out and spend extra money on items so what i do is i typically go to pinterest Pinterest is a go-to. I have so many Pinterest boards and I'll show you my Pinterest boards that I have here. I have Pinterest boards that say a uh, streetwear, things that I want to recreate for YouTube, um, business casual outfits, DIYs. I have so many Pinterest boards and when I try to look for an outfit or create an outfit, say for instance, I have black jeans. Okay. I will do a search for black jean outfits. Also, I love the creators who do the, I guess, what do you call them? Um, fashion boards or the, uh, I, I don't know what you call them, but I'll show you an example of what I mean. I mean where they go and they'll put a skirt, they'll put a shirt, they'll put a pant. There's nobody in it, but they just put all of the items on the uh, screen. But I will show you a couple of outfits that I created out of my wardrobe from just using those little uh, picture boards or fashion boards or whatever you call them also i have a couple of outfits that are actual people in the outfit and if that's something you're interested in stay tuned let's get into these looks the first look is going to be the look that i'm wearing now um i saw this on the pinterest board now this could actually double as a corporate girl style um which is what the picture is and basically it is just a pleated skirt and a white just a basic white top I added accessories. Um, they mentioned adding a gold watch, but I added a bracelet and everything to the look and a nude pump. So if you take this look, this look is very simple. We'll go to work. You can even wear this on Thanksgiving if you're if y'all are dressing up. Maybe if you're taking holiday photos. Because I know sometimes we get to thanks we get to our Thanksgiving dinners and all your family is there. So you're like, everybody take a let's take a Thanksgiving photo. This will be a perfect opportunity, a perfect outfit to take a nice holiday photo in before the actual holiday so that you can have your pictures for your greeting cards or for your Christmas cards that you're gonna mail out. This outfit is perfect for that. So I would say, hey. Family, everybody wear gold and white or white and gold or white and tan, some variation of that. And then boom, this is the picture. So if you see the outfit, I actually mimic the exact outfit. Now this may not be this exact color skirt, but the skirt that I have on, I don't know where this skirt is from, but I know this top was cheap. It came from Ross or one of those little other stores. I showed it in my basic, in my what's new in my closet video because I needed more of these things. So. It's very simple, very basic. These new pumps, uh, they are from, and I actually, let me see, let me take it off because I got it on right now. Um, these are by Wild Diva. I can't tell you where I got these from. I've had new pumps for a while. I have several color of new pumps, but I chose this one because it kind of like matches the skirt a little bit and it kind of just gives me the patent leather look. So I like it. Also added a leopard print, well, leopard print clutch just for a little variation, just for a little touch of something but let me know what you think about this look down in the comment section the next outfit um basically this is what i meant by like a picture board when you get um they show you a picture of the items and then you just kind of recreate the re recreate the look with the items that you have in your own closet so this particular look from pinterest as you can see over here it's a tool skirt it's blue it's navy blue which she has a navy blue leather jacket she has on a cute little graphic tee some leopard print heels and a brown bag with a cute little necklace and that was the look so 
my interpretation of this look, and I'm sorry if I'm looking down because I'm looking at the actual picture that I took of the outfit so that I don't forget what I, what I had on. This is my take on the look. I had a tool skirt. Now I got this skirt from Boohoo so many years ago and I have not worn this skirt. So I was like, let me just wear the skirt. Let me create, create, create this look with a tool skirt and the one that I have in my closet. And let me try to come as close as I can to the actual Pinterest board, but not really. So basically I took the Pinterest board, took the idea and I recreated the look totally different colors. Okay. So since my skirt was this off white color that I got from Boohoo, I decided to add a neutral tank. That tank says, uh, not tank, I'm sorry. A neutral graphic tee, which says good mom say bad words. If you can't see what the, the tank says. And I had this leather, uh, well, faux leather, brown moto jacket that went on top. I have my leopard print heels on and this bag that I got from Didi's Discount a while ago. And it just tied all the colors together. So now you see what I mean by taking the inspiration and then putting it with the things that you have in your wardrobe. So basically, when I went to Pinterest, all I did was type in tool skirt. And so many uh, outfits with tool skirts came up. I picked this one because I thought it was cute. I knew I had some of those pieces. May not be the exact pieces, but everybody has a graphic tee. Everybody has some type of faux leather jacket. And if you don't have a tool skirt, girl, get you one because you might need it. Um, but this would have also been cute with like a boot maybe like a skinny boot like a, a like a, a knee boot because you can't really see my knees in this skirt but i feel like that would have been really cute with a you know a really fitted boot but i think the outfit came together it's pulling in all the neutral tones and i love it the next look for my pinterest board i wanted to go with this casual camo look now the last look you can definitely wear that you know as i was stating with the first look it falls into Everybody wear cream and brown. We taking family photos for Thanksgiving. Like that falls into that family photo Thanksgiving type of look. And like I said, if you're from my family, baby, we dress this up because every moment is a family photo moment. So this next look is um, is a casual look. We we casual. Like we come and we can take a picture. But we're going to be cute while we're taking a picture. And we're going to be comfortable and we're going to be casual. So I basically just took the camo pants, um, a cardigan, a sneaker, some gold jewelry, and a ball cap from this Pinterest uh, layout board. And I created my own look. And here's the look I came up with. So basically, I had some camo pants. They weren't like the camo pants that had the ruching at the bottom. These were a wide leg camo pant, but I feel like they serve the purpose just, just enough. Um, and then I added a white tank top like the picture. I added a cardigan that's in this rusty color. And I feel like it went pretty, it went really good with my uh, Waffle One sneakers. If you look at the sneakers, they have like greens, they have like browns, they have white. And I feel like those sneakers kind of just tied the whole look together. I did add my C baseball cap that I got from Shein. So these pants are from Shein, this cap is from Shein, the shoes are from Nike, of course, and this little gold bag I added for, you know, just a pop of accessory. I have some gold accessories and I, this hat is from Shein as well. It just has a C on it and it's like a teddy cloth material. And I love that little baseball cap. I just love it because I think it's like really, really edgy, really cute. And it says something like, and it's a C for candy, for CG on trend. Like, I love it. So this was my take on the the third Pinterest look. And I think I did really good. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. The fourth look, y'all. We comfortable again. We're so comfortable. We're comfortable. This is a, you going to see maybe his parents. You know, maybe you're going to his parents' house and, and it's not so formal, you know, like your, like your family. And you just want to be real comfortable and you still want to be cute and you still want to be covered up. So basically in the Pinterest photo, there's a, a gray skirt, like a heather gray skirt, a denim jacket, some, you know, Nikes. Those are Air Max actually with the, with the lime green and the blacks and the grays. And then there, there's a lime green graphic tee. There's some sunnies and cute little watch, cute little bag. Okay, my take on that is, you know, of course, I don't have those exact items, but I do have a Heather Gray skirt. 
So my Heather Gray skirt is from Shein and it also had like this cute little split in the front and it has like a cute little drawstring in it. The recent pickup is the, the, the graphic tee. It says, but God on it. And I love it. So, you know, that's perfect to go over to his parents' house. Cause you know, they, then they'll be like, okay, she got some sense. That part. But anyway, and then I just added my Air Force, I mean, my uh, Nike, what are these? Uh, I'll leave it on the screen because I can't remember uh, the name of this tennis shoe. But it's an Air Max, of course. And I added my dark denim jacket and then my cute little black, like little top handle bag that I'm wearing as a crossbody. I opted for silver jewelry here. I have on my Apple Watch and I have on a pair of sunnies. Like, I came really close to this Pinterest-inspired look, and I love it. I love when they give me a layout, and then I can just, that's what it's called. I think a fashion layout. Y'all let me know what it's called in the bottom, because y'all, I need to know. Like, I want to know. But anyway, I loved it. Thought it was cute. I think I really came close. I think I got, I think I hit that one on the, on the nail. I think I did. Okay, so moving on. We coming back to my family again. Like we come, we coming back to my family house with this look. Okay, so in the Pinterest board, there is a shirt dress. And I like a good shirt dress. And this is like a different shirt dress. It, it's black and white striped. She put on some, they have like a, some denim jeans laid out, some gold accessories, a brown bag, some, you know, Louboutins, which, you know, I don't have no lubes. But I'm just saying, cute little Louboutins and a nice little brown hat. Okay, my take on this look is simply, I have a shirt dress with white being the base and then the stripes in it are black and it has like this little tie around it. And I use that string to kind of like actually cinch the waist in this dress. And I've never worn this dress with jeans. I've actually just worn it as a dress uh, to church, but I think it really looks cute. I added a pair of black jeans instead of the blue ones. And then I put on a pair of nude, my color nude, pumps that I got from Shoe Dazzle a while, so long ago, and I think this made for a really cute look. Like, I got that bag again that's kind of giving you Burberry vibes. That bag is from Dee Dee's Discount. I think it tied really well in with the black, the white, and the, the brown, and then my hat, I have a, you know, a fedora, and it has like a, what is that? has like a leopard print band around it. So I opted to put leopard print stud earrings on, gold jewelry, pop my collar a little bit. And I thought I was cute. Like I, I really did think that this was really cute. So I love my take on this Pinterest inspired look. I think I nailed it for the most part because it's not supposed to be exact. I'm just gaining inspiration. And with that, all I typed in was shirt dress. So really did like that look. So y'all going for Thanksgiving? Let me tell y'all. Type in what you have in your closet and, and, and Pinterest will tell you everything you need to know about an outfit, how to style it, who got it on, all that type of stuff. Okay, so let's see. The next, the number six item, let's see. Okay, this look. Basically, the Pinterest board um, and the person who created this Pinterest board, usually on Pinterest, they will tell you who created the Pinterest board and it says at Polish Swan created this Pinterest board. So I'm assuming that you can go ahead and follow at Polish Swan on Instagram if you want to. And, you know, you can see a lot of her, you know, uh, creative layouts or, uh, or fashion layouts. My take on this look, and I feel like, you know, I feel like I did a good job. So did not go with the exact colors. Although I do have a cardigan that color and I do have some sneakers that are in that color family too. I wanted to go away from it and just take the inspiration of putting a denim skirt with a cardigan with a white button down. So I did keep the white button down from the look. So in my look, I went for a white button down. I kept gold jewelry and I went for my denim skirt that I got this skirt. I think this skirt is from Timu. I wanna say this from Timu. I added a red belt and then I put on a red, white and blue cardigan that is from Dee Dee's Discount, I wanna say. I got this cardigan a long, oh, maybe two years ago. Um, it's from Dee Dee's Discount, and then I added a red bag. Uh, that red bag is from a local beauty supply store here. Thought it was cute, because it's giving all the Chanel things, okay? And then I simply added my Pumas. Uh, my red, there's, there's, there's blue, there's red, there's green, there's off-white, there's white, 
Um, I could have changed the shoestrings to my white shoestrings, but I decided just to leave them blue just to kind of give some, some, you know, some kind of funkiness to it. And then I added my, my Gucci pin, um, because as you can see that, that particular picture had like a Chanel brooch. So I added my little Gucci brooch. Um, you know, it's not real. I got that from a boutique, but anyway, Hey, it went with the vibe. It captured the look. And I think I, I think I, I think I, I think this look came out really cute. It came out exactly how I wanted it to come out. I could have ironed my shirt, but that wasn't what this video was about. It's just for inspiration. When I wear this outfit, I definitely would iron this shirt. This is perfect for Thanksgiving. I think you could sit on any grandma couch with this outfit on. Now, she may ask you about that split up the front, but you could definitely sit on grandma's couch with this outfit on and be comfortable, casual, and chic, and catch all the vibes, okay? So... That was number six. Okay, on to number seven. So, the number seven look, guys. So, <laughs> I wanted to do the jogger. The girl has on a pink jogger set and she has on boots. So, I wanted to play off of that. I wanted to, I have matching joggers, but I actually wore that outfit the other day. So, it's in the dirty clothes. So, I couldn't put that outfit on with the boots. So, I decided to just kind of squeak it a little bit and create my own jogger set. Okay, so in her video, in her picture, she has on a ball cap. She has on um, a pink jogger set with some like tan boots. And then she also has on a, I mean, she has a, you know, Gucci bag or whatever. So my take on this look, I had a pair of off-white joggers with rips in them. Love these joggers. Don't know where I got them from because they've been in my closet for a while, but I love to pull them out around the fall and around the winter because they just have so much edge to them. Okay, I pulled out a sweatshirt that I got from Sheen uh, maybe a year ago. And I felt like the two went together perfectly. You see the word melanin is the same color as the um, joggers. And then I opted for my little tan boot that you saw in a boot haul. Um, if that video goes, yeah, that video will go up probably after this one, but you'll see those boots in a boot haul. So I opted for those tan boots and I think the outfit came together. I opted for a more neutral bag. So the bag is more of a like an e-crew color and it has like silver details. I went for my black girl magic earrings because I feel like I'm giving you melanin and I'm giving you black girl magic. So I went there with the outfit and then I, instead of a baseball cap, I wanted to do like a beanie. I wanted to do a beanie look, you know, on my little head, you know, and give it like, it's winter time. It's cool outside. Y'all need a jacket, you know? So in case you are somewhere where it is cold, this is a perfect outfit for you. You can dress up your jogger set, create your own jogger set, add a beanie, and then you could also throw on a coat. As you can see here, I have on this coat, and I got this coat from Shein maybe like four years ago. This is a good coat. Like, it's giving, y'all, the shirling and then the faux suede. It's giving all the things, and it's still neutral, and it still kind of matches with the sweater and the, and the joggers. Oh, I just love it so much. I think it's really good. Now, the girl didn't have on a coat, but I decided to give y'all a coat moment because I feel like y'all needed a coat moment, so... Here's what I give you. I gave you a coat moment. And I hope you enjoy it. I hope you like that I gave you a coat moment. But that was the look. Thought that look was really cute. Perfect for Thanksgiving. When you get to grandma's house, take that coat off, hang it up in the rack or in the coat closet. And then you have your comfortable, chic look. And you can keep your hat on. I mean, if you have that kind of grandmother, you can keep your hat on in the house. Ladies, you usually can keep your hat on in the house. But I'm from Louisiana. Sometimes, you know, I know men have to take their hat off. But women, we can keep our hat on. Keep your little beanie on and it would be so, so cute. So, I really love this look. Let me know what you think about this look in the comment section. Did I do a good job of recreating this jogger look even though my joggers don't match per se? Okay. The last and final look in this video is another comfortable look for the couch. Since we ain't all got to dress up, you know, when we go to eat, you know, we want something that's going to stretch with us. We want something that when we eat all this turkey, you know, we don't want to be, oh, I can't eat no more because my stomach is too tight in these clothes that I have on. I love the picture that, at, that says, hey, wear a bodycon dress. Put a jean jacket on top. Put some sneakers on, a hat. Go on about your day, baby. Okay, love that. So, for this particular look, 
I went for just that. I have this denim, um, this denim shirt dress is from Shein. I got this dress, this shirt dress, maybe like three or four years ago. I wore it once. And I never worn it as a dress. I've only worn it as a jacket because it's long. But it has a distressing in it that I love. And then the black um, bodycon dress is actually a short sleeve bodycon dress. So I'm not too hot. And then um, with long sleeves. And it's not a turtleneck. It's just a short sleeve. But it's really comfortable. And if I want to eat, the dress expands, baby. It stretches. And we all love a good stretch, okay? I opted for silver jewelry. I have on this same silver necklace that I have on right now and then I put on silver accessories I have on my Apple watch and then my sneakers are the Nike blaze and they're in this denim print love these sneakers these sneakers will be going with me to the country because I love them so much I may pair them with a pair of jeans this time but love them I'm taking I'm packing them but I thought this look would be really cute to go sit on the couch a pop of red because of the red in the sneakers and then the hat. Okay, I decided not to do a, I was gonna do a fedora. You know, I have a yellow fedora like the Pinterest picture, but I was like, let me do a different kind of hat because you know, I don't have to be matchy matchy hat. So I went for this plaid beret that I had in the closet, girl, I don't know where and when I got this hat, but I thought that that pop of red, that plaid, it's giving Christmas, but it's Thanksgiving, but it's almost Christmas. So I'm giving all the, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for Christmas. But y'all know that plaid gives you Christmas vibes. And I just loved it. I thought this would be a cute Christmas day outfit. I mean, I don't know, whatever you want to do with it. But I thought this would be really cute. And I think I got, I did the picture some justice with this one. So you guys let me know how you like the eight looks that I created for you from Pinterest for your Thanksgiving day outfits. Whether you're taking family photos um, for Thanksgiving or you're just sitting on the couch watching the football game, cheering on your favorite team, or whether you're just there to eat. I'm sure there is one of these looks that you can take and utilize for whatever purpose you need to utilize it for. Again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Go over to Pinterest, girl. Click on some of these things. Type in denim dress, denim jacket, um, denim shoes, metallic pants. You will find so many outfits, so many outfit ideas, so many uh, people that are wanting or, or styling the pieces that you have in your closet. You just have to inquire about them. So again, if you got this far, girl, what you waiting on? Go ahead and subscribe to this video, subscribe to this channel, share this video with your friends and always come back for more. Hit that notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload a video and I will definitely see you guys in my next video. Oh, and let me not forget to say, happy Thanksgiving. So hopefully this video will go out before Thanksgiving. So happy Thanksgiving because I want to give y'all the looks, but happy Thanksgiving and I wish you and your family well. All right, I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.